let's determine CD, the distance between the two anchors in terms of age. So what you want to do in this kind of problem, you will realize it uh, towards the end is that you have to start uh, with the triangle that has the most information and move towards the triangle that has the least information. So let's look at our uh, line CD. So here's CD here, right? And then apart from CD, we have an angle to theta here, uh, which is, I just highlighted, right? And then we are told that uh, AC and AD are equals to each other, right? Uh, so this angle here should be equals to uh, this angle. So let's just, you know, go ahead and calculate those, tri those angles. So we're saying that in triangle uh, ADC, uh, we have two theta uh, plus uh, angle ADC plus uh, angle ACD being equals to 180 degrees. But then because uh, ADC and ACD are equals to each other, uh, we can just see that uh, ADC is equals to uh, ACD. The true triangles will be close to each other since the lines are equals to each other. So now we're going to have 2 theta uh, plus 2 ADC being equals to 180 degrees. So now we have um, 2 ADC uh, being equals to 180 degrees minus 2 theta. So if you divide both sides by 2, you get ADC is equals to 90 degrees uh, minus theta. So now we have this angle here, uh, which is 90 degrees minus theta. Uh, this angle here is also 90 degrees minus uh, theta. Let's not forget our aim. We want to determine uh, line DC, right? Uh, in terms of H. Uh, so what can we do here? We can use the sine rule, right? Uh, we can say that uh, sine of A uh, divided by the side A will be equals to sine of uh, B divided by the side B. We're still in triangle ADC, right? So let's take a uh, sine of 2 theta. So we're saying that sine of 2 theta uh, divided by the opposite side, right? Uh, DC will be equals to, uh, let's take this angle here, uh, 90 minus theta, right? You're going to see why I'm saying we should take that one. Then we're going to get sine of 90 minus theta uh, divided by the opposite side. The opposite side is AC. So if we cross multiply, we get uh, DC multiplied by uh, sine of 90 minus theta. That is just cos of theta, right? And then that is equals to AC. Uh, sine of 2 theta. Uh, so DC is equals to AC sine of 2 theta, uh, everything divided by uh, cos of theta. But we know fully well from trig, right, uh, that sine of 2 theta is equals to 2 sine of theta cos of theta. So we can just substitute that in. We're going to get uh, DC is equals to AC, uh, 2 sine of theta, cos of theta, everything divided by uh, cos of theta, right? And then now it's easy to see that cos of theta and cos of theta cancel out. So now we have uh, DC is equals to uh, basically 2 AC uh, sine of theta, right? But then we're supposed to determine DC in terms of age, right? So how are we going to do that? Now, this is what I was talking about. Starting from the triangle that has the most information, moving to the triangle that has the least information. So now we're looking for the length of AC. So let me just highlight um, AC here for you. Uh, we're looking for AC, right? So to find AC, we're going to regard uh, triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, uh, we have 90 here, uh, yeah, we have an angle theta, so we can use that angle. Uh, we can say that sine of theta is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Here you can see now our hypotenuse is going to be AC, right? So we're basically done with the problem. So 
uh, sine of theta will just stay as sine of theta because that angle is theta, right? So we're gonna have sine of theta uh, being equal to the opposite, which is h divided by the hypotenuse, which is ac. And then if we solve for ac, we get ac is equal to h divided by sine theta. Uh, for the faint-hearted ones, uh, what we did here, we cross multiplied. We got ac sine of theta is equal to h so ac will be h divided by sine of theta for the faint added ones so now that we have ac right uh we can substitute ac back into dc right uh so let me just uh do it there so that yeah uh, you can see what i'm talking about so now we're gonna have um dc is equal to 2 multiplied by ac AC we see in that uh, it's H divided by sine of theta, right? So we have H divided by sine of theta and then multiply by sine of theta. Uh, sine of theta and sine of theta, uh, they cancel out. So DC is equal to 2H.